morning, everyone. Uh, it's good to see your smiling faces. Uh, today's class is cardio interval training with me. My name is Clint. With the cardio intervals, we are going to be doing five or six exercises back to back. Each one is about 30 seconds long. All five or six of those will be one set. We'll rest a short time and start a new set and do five or six of those. So, uh, but I am going to mix up the exercises. So try to stick around and uh, that way it keeps your muscles guessing and get that heart rate going. All right. So in case you haven't warmed up yet, we're going to start with just a walking in place. Once again, get the, this isn't the first set. This is just getting the, the heart rate up, getting us prepared for what we're about to do. All right. Keep walking in place, small circles. Trying to loosen up the core, arms, legs. Gradually getting our heart rate up. Reverse the circle. Yep, hope you guys are having a great day today. It's nice, but it's awfully sunny out there, so I'm in the, my patio. All right, forward again, big circles this time. Don't have to be too quick. Just keep marching in place. All right, and reverse it. So regardless of your age, everybody needs to warm up. Everybody needs to cool down. But the older we get, I think the more we appreciate a good warm up. All right, now you want your feet shoulder width apart, still warming up. Nice big rotation with those hips. And reverse direction. Yeah, if you have any questions about the class during or after, uh, feel free to write a note in the comment box below. And I'll be happy to answer your questions and try to help you out. All right, one more warm up. So feet close together, hands just above your knees. Make those circles. And loosen up the knee joint a little bit. We are gonna do some jumping, but you could always modify that. And reverse. Almost there. All right, everybody warmed up? Good. All right, the first one is, uh, I believe, called jump jacks. So we're not gonna use our arms like a full jumping jack. What you wanna do, and we're gonna go for the 30 seconds, and begin. Out, up. You go as quickly as you feel comfortable. Sometimes it feels like the hands are getting in the way. If I just put them up here as opposed to keeping them down. Now you wanna keep the core tight, chin up. Try not to bend forward, just bending down as if you're trying to touch a chair with your butt. Almost there. All right, now we're gonna go right into raising the knees up to the opposite elbow. Try not to pull too hot, hard on the, the back of your head. Focus more on driving those knees up as opposed to bending forward. We are going to get some water breaks, but if you do need a water break anytime during the exercise, you are allowed to stop and get a break. But try not to if you can. 10 more seconds. Almost there. All right, <laughs> on this one, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge and drive that back knee up, down and up. If you could go quickly, do so. This does require some balance, but this is the easier way we're doing it right now. And then as we're good and warmed up, then we'll make it more difficult. Five more seconds. 
and switch. So now the other leg back. Once again, maintain good posture. Keep that core tight. Driving that knee up high. Halfway there. Five more seconds. All right. Now we're still gonna cross the body, so this hand's going to the other foot. Try to keep your legs up high. Try to touch the toes. Don't know about you, but I can feel my heart rate going. That means we're doing it right. But of course, think safety. So if you feel dizzy or lightheaded, definitely take a break. If you try to come back in and you still feel dizzy or lightheaded, don't continue. Ten more seconds. Almost there. All right, good job. Short rest. Hopefully you have your water. If you don't, we'll wait. You could go get some, get a quick drink. Just try not to chug, because you don't want your body to switch into digestion mode. Then you could possibly start cramping. Won't feel good. All right, so that was our good cool down. Now round number two, okay. On this one, we're gonna be hopping with our feet close together. I want you to reach with the other hand to the other side of the foot, on the outside or the lateral part of the foot. So I'm gonna go down, hop, touch the other side, hop. So you're not going so high you're trying to dunk a basketball. But you do want to try to get at least high enough that someone could slide a paper plate underneath your foot or feet. Almost there. A couple more. All right, good. Now we're gonna do the crisscross knees up high, opposite elbow to the other knee. Don't forget to keep breathing because we're moving at a higher pace. There's no real breathe in or breathe out on the exertion. Just don't hold your breath. Just try to keep natural breathing not too shallow. It's obviously a little harder to talk and do this. 10 more seconds. If I could see, I'm sure you're all looking great. All right. Now we're gonna do basic jumping jacks and begin. Going for 30 seconds. This bothers your knees, ankles, or hips. Just try to do the arms. Now, if it bothers your shoulders, just try to do the lower body. If it hurts both, just kind of march in place. And switch. All right. Now, the straight leg, trying to touch that opposite toe. there and rest. Now make 
make sure my timer's good. All right, this next one, you want your feet basically double, shoulder width apart, like you're squatting. We call it horse stance in martial arts because feet are wide like you're riding a horse. Arms up, making fists. Just don't tighten the muscles. High to the face, middle to the chest, low to the groin. So as quickly as you feel comfortable. High, middle, low, high, middle, low. It'll feel awkward at first if you're not used to this. Don't worry about it. It's using the core, arms, legs. So if you can't tell yet, the arms are alternating which one hits high, high, middle, low, high, middle, low. Almost there. All right, good. Now we're gonna do that reverse lunge, but add a little jump at the top. So for me, I'm doing the right leg back. And I'm gonna go straight up with that knee. Short hop. Now, if you have to put your foot down to recuperate or to maintain balance, that's fine. But if you can keep your balance, put the foot all the way back before you drive it up high. Once again, a little bit of height. Get that heart rate going, leg muscles burn. Almost there, nice, and switch. So I'm gonna switch sides. Back, drive that knee up. Fifteen more seconds, you got this. Then we get another short water break. Five more. <laughs> Woo! Ah, shake it out. Grab your water. Once again, just sip it. It's nice and cold. I almost feel like dumping this on myself, but I don't want to make a mess, so. Resting. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in and exhale. A few more seconds. Breathe in and exhale. One more. All right, very good. All right. Next round, now we're gonna do the jack squats. So once again, feet go quickly out, come back together. Out, in, and in. Once again, going for that 30 second mark. Piece of cake. If I could do this, you guys could do it too. Halfway there. Ten more seconds. Good form. Keep on breathing. Last five. All right. Hands up. Once again, gently touch the back of the head. Opposite knee up. Once again, focusing not on bending, but getting those knees up high to the opposite elbow. Oh yeah. If you notice you're a little out of breath, that doesn't necessarily mean you're out of shape. We're using a lot of muscles and those muscles require oxygen. And switch. Without oxygen, our muscles, brain, organs wouldn't function properly. So we gotta breathe heavier because we have a higher oxygen demand on those body parts. 
But that's what makes this fun. Almost there. Five more seconds, you got this. All right, one more jump, then another water break. So feet close together. Once again, I'm reaching to the other side. Try and touch the floor if you can. Bending at those knees and hips. So down, small hop, touch the other side. more seconds. And rest. All right. Another quick water break. Woo. Yeah, just breathe. Sip that water. Uh, you guys feeling good? Me too. If you you're not feeling good I understand but just hang in there ah. breathe in breathe out all right of course to keep the heart rate going do another squat variation this time we're doing a one leg squat and as I come up I'm gonna bring that leg up so I'm starting with my left side doing the squat. We're doing both sides, so you can start whatever, with whichever leg you feel like it. So we go down, leg up, down, leg up. Notice my leg is going into the squat position next to the other leg. And I just come up as high as I feel comfortable. You could go higher than me, that's great. If you can't, that's fine too. Five more seconds. Feel that burn, I know I do. Woo! All right, same thing other side. Squat, leg up. Now for balance, if you need to do this, you can. But hands in make it a little bit more challenging. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Almost there. All right, this next one, I'm gonna pretend a dumbbell is in my hand. If you have a small dumbbell, you could use that as well. Extra wide stance. Once again, focus on the squat, not the breathing in half or bending in half. So going down, reach up, down, reach up. 30 seconds more. Once again, as far as you feel comfortable, bending at those hips and knees. Try to keep the back straight. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Twist dumbbell to the other hand, and begin. Whew. Very nice, keep going. 10 more seconds. Dumbbell down. All right, this next one, we're going to do a reverse lunge as we come up a front snap kick. If you're not used to doing front snap kicks, just don't do it too hard. So it's back, knee up, out. Back, knee up, out. Whew. Working those muscles. Once again, keep that core engaged. Try to keep that head up. And you will definitely, I assume like me, feel that other leg burn. One more. Ah, oh, nice. Good workout. All right, leg back, knee up, kick out. My leg's starting to feel like spaghetti. That's okay. If this were easy, most of us wouldn't be doing it. It's too easy. 
You know those balance gets a little tougher, almost there. All right, let me adjust the clock. All right, once again, leg straight, alternating legs up to the opposite hand. Once again, 30 seconds, then another short water break. This is easier when I don't talk. Uh, 10 more seconds, you got this. Once again, if I could do it, you guys can do it. Three, two, and water. Whew. Oh yeah, I know I sound like a broken record, but don't chug it. It's not good for you if you chug the water, but definitely need to stay hydrated. Breathe if you need to lightly walk in place. If you need to pace a little bit, get that heart rate to go down gradually. You don't want it to just plummet. That's potentially harmful. 10 more seconds. Enjoy the moment. Is it just me or those rest pairs go by pretty quickly? All right, here we go. Hands up, opposite elbow to your knees. Whoo, legs are heavy. Doesn't matter though, these don't last but 30 seconds. We got this. See, halfway there already. Five more seconds. And rest. All right, now we're gonna do jump squats. No, jack squats. Just out, back in. Core tight, chin up. We're getting that butt down low. How low can you go? I can't get very low. That's okay. I'm still working. You're still working. That's what matters. Five more seconds. All right, now we'll do the alternating punches. This time to keep it simple, we'll do the squat. Hold in the static position, which means we're not going up and down. We'll just do the punches right to chest height. Keep breathing as quickly as you can. Whew. Again, going for 30 seconds. We've already done 10. First 10 is the hardest. You got this, five more. And rest. All right, this time, once again for balance, we're just gonna lean forward as our back leg goes up. But we're gonna pick up the tempo since we're good and warmed up. Normally I do this one as a warm up exercise, but not nearly as quickly. But my heart rate's staying up because it's using these large leg muscles. But at the same time, I'm not really using my upper body much other than my core. So it's almost like a rest. So you're welcome. <laughs> and switch. All right. Keep breathing. Feeling good, stay positive. Grand total, we only have about eight minutes left, guys. Ladies and gents, and then we'll be done. It's all, all downhill from here though. <laughs> and rest. All right, feet close together. Once again, the small hops, touching the other side of your foot, or as close to it as you feel comfortable. Thank you. 
Almost there. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna do a moving plank. So you wanna be in a push-up position on your forearms. Raise up to hands, back down. Once again, shooting for 30 seconds. After this, we get another drink, which means another short rest. 10 more seconds. And worse. Good job, everybody. Whew. Sure about a tough one. My bald head can't hold on to the sweat. It's too warm to wear a hat. Uh, 30 more seconds of rest. Once again, these type of exercises are good to add to your workout routine, whether you do yoga or Pilates with our other great instructors or weight training. The more you can work that body, keep the mind fresh, the better it is for you. With your doctor's approval. That's a little disclaimer. All right. Here we go. Arms up and begin. Jack those knees up high. Mine are pretty low. I feel like I'm getting up high though. <laughs> Gotta work through it. Good for us. 10 more seconds. Almost there, and rest. All right, jack squats, and begin. 30 seconds. Whew. Halfway there, means 15 more. Whew. Oh yeah, five more seconds. All right, basic reverse lunge, knee high, no jumping. So back, knee up, back, knee up. Try to maintain your balance. Whew. 10 more seconds, feel that burn. That burn kind of reminds you that you're working. And switch, even if you didn't need a reminder. All right, same thing, other side. Down, knee up. Back, knee up. <sighs> 10 more seconds. <sighs> One more. Ah. All right, once again, alternating, opposite hand to foot. Trying to keep those legs straight. Keeping that core engaged. Try to maintain good form. Believe me, I know that's easier said than done. Almost there. Two more exercises, you got this, two more. Feet close together, hop, touch on the other side. Down, hop, touch the other side. <sighs> 10 more seconds. <sighs> Almost there. One more of the uh, jack squat. 
Oh yeah. I'm actually trying to go quickly. Whew. See, we must be working hard. Even my computer over there is getting tired. Whew. Whew. 10 more seconds. Almost there. All right, good job everybody. Real quick drink, and then we'll do light cool down. Once again, you don't want to just stop that quickly after a uh, workout like that. If you made it this far, you're awesome, good job. All right, march in place. This time without purpose of getting the heart rate up, we're marching to help get the lactic acid out of the muscles, get our heart rate to drop slowly as opposed to plummet quickly. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. All right, wide stance. Once again, oh yeah, working those glutes, hands, hip muscles, quadriceps, lower back, and reverse it. Oh yeah. All right, feet close together. Once again, hands above your knees. Make as big a rotation as you feel comfortable with. And don't forget to breathe. Nice control motion. Once again, we're not going as quickly because we're not trying to get the heart rate up. And reverse the circle. All right, one more cool down exercise. Feet wide. Use the other hand, reach as far as you feel comfortable. Try to hold that position. Stretching out the lower back and the obliques. Same thing, other side. Yeah, I feel it right on the side there. Yeah. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Stay with it, work those body parts, and enjoy the rest of your day. Once again, my name's Clint Neal, and I'll see you next time.